Hey guys, what's up? This is Shanstar, Shankster, whatever you want to call it. I'm not really sure. But I'm gonna try to explain to you, or like try to have a tutorial, something like that, of how to create a Minecraft server on a Mac computer. I've gone through so many videos, so many tutorials of how to how to make a server on a Mac. And all of it is ridiculously like so difficult for some reason. And I tried a lot of stuff and a lot of it doesn't work. But I'm gonna try to show you a way that that makes makes sense, you know. I wanna try to explain. Okay, so the first thing that you do, you have to go to the Minecraft website. Minecraft. You have to go to download. You have to download minecraftserver.jar and then just like download it, okay? And then keep this window up because you're gonna need this line of code right here. Just just right here. But for now just do minecraftserver.jar. And I wanna make a note that every time that there's an update, if you try to run your server and you try to get on it or something, it'll say like you need to update your server or something. So don't get scared, don't get freaked out because your server's not broken. All you have to do is replace your Minecraft. Oh wait, hold on. You have to replace your Minecraft server dot jar file, and all you have to do is just re-download it and like delete your old one and just replace it. Like none of your stuff gets deleted on your server. Nothing happens. Stuff like that. So, so you'll be fine. Just just download that. All right. And then once you do it, I want you to make on your desktop a folder that's called Minecraft server, lowercase, and has a space in between. Because that's what mine's set up as, and that's what the lines of code that you're going to put in terminal goes to. So pretty much you put your Minecraft server.jar in there. And you're not going to have all of this other stuff in there when you start off. But like once you run your Minecraft server, it'll create these files. So just don't worry if you don't have any of these other files. So what you want to do after you download that, put it in your Minecraft server, blah, 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 blah. You want to open Terminal. Now, nobody explained to me where to find Terminal on my Mac computer. So what you have to do, every Mac computer has Terminal, I'm pretty sure. So what you have to do is go in Finder and just like type in Terminal and then you'll find it or something. I'm not really sure, but don't worry about it. You'll find it, I'm sure. So what you want to do, you'll open this. You want to... I'll put this line of code in the description box, but pretty much you just want to copy that and paste that. This is the code that goes into your desktop folder of Minecraft server, right? Okay, so that's the code that goes in the folder. And then ls ls I don't really know what that means so not totally sure but okay look oh actually yeah that I think that just displays your <laughs> all the things that's in the folder at that point so after you do that you just copy paste this code and this code starts the server um, this is actually the code that's on the Minecraft website so this starts the server and the reason that you start it from terminal is because it makes your server lag less because honestly you could just click on minecraft server.jar and it opens like this big program type thing but the thing is that it it creates more lag on your server for some reason so I don't know that's what I've heard I don't know how much truth there is to that but since I've already made my server and it's already running and everything, it it doesn't take very long to load my server. So, but when you first start a server, it'll be like like something or setting spawn point or something, and then like five percent, ten percent, and it'll just keep going till a hundred percent, and then it'll be like done. Yeah, preparing spawn area. It'll take a lot longer to prepare spawn area. So pretty much when it says done, your server's good and you do that. But the thing is that you need to 
change your server properties. Because now, when you open your Minecraft server folder, you're going to have a server properties. So what you need to do is change your server properties. Now, if you double click it, you see it says, there's no default application specified open, blah, 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 blah. What you want to do is, like, stop your server because you can't really change it while you're in your server, I think. So, you want to do nano server dot properties. And it'll bring you to this weird page, you know? So, pretty much, I would keep level name as world because if you want to change your world files or something like this is the name that you put in your folder like this is your world folder all of your world files are in this world folder and this is pretty much saying like okay we're gonna open the folder that's named world if you change it to anything else like like banana or something it'll only run like a folder that's called banana right so that's what that is and if you want to put like a adventure map like a like a puzzle map what you want to do is change this world folder that's in your minecraft server and you need to rename it world but if you do that just be sure to save your world folder blah blah, blah. you know all that stuff so hell world if you put it on hell world true like everything that's around you is just like the nether pretty much. I've never actually done it, but that's what I hear, like you spawn in the nether. Which I don't know why you'd want to do that now that there's an update that you can actually go to the nether. So that's fine. Spawn monsters true. So pretty much if you want to have it on peaceful, then you want to put spawn monsters false. Online mode true, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not really sure what that does. Spawn animals true, that's like if you want animals, I'm sure you do. Max players, like how many players that will be allowed on your server. So if you have a computer that's more prone to be laggy or crash Minecraft or something, you kind of want to put them at like a lower number, lower number of max players or something. So like if a lot of people want to get on, they can't, so it doesn't crash their server or anything. Server IP, I just kind of leave it blank because it works for me. I'm not really sure why it just works. PvP true, if you want to kill other people, then PvP true. Level seed, I guess if you have a seed, you could put it there. Server port, default, you should leave it at 25565 just because that's just the default one. And there's, I don't really see a need to change it. Allow flight false. Actually, I like... I, I like flying in my freaking. Oh, I have to do this. Um, I like flying in my thing. Whitelist. Oh, whitelist is like if you have a list of people that can build stuff, that's what a whitelist is. So, no, actually, whitelist is false. I don't care. Okay, push control X. Push control X. And then push Y. Wait, what? And then push Enter. Push Control X, press Y, push Enter, and then you get out of it. And then if you want to run your Minecraft server again with all of your your changes that you just made, just put that in, and then it'll start your server again, and pretty much people can get on it. All right, so one of the most necessary things to running a server is to have a good IP address that works. And my problem is that I couldn't use my internet IP address for a server and I couldn't port forward the thing because the internet that I use isn't technically like my internet. It's from like somewhere else, right? It's from like the office at my apartment complex. So I use that. So I can't like necessarily mess with it and do port forwarding which uh, I don't know maybe I don't understand exactly how to do that but either way that just seemed way too difficult for me and then I found a way that I could make a server without all of that crap and this works for me and all of my friends all of my friends use 
log me in Hamachi. So it pretty much gives you an IP address of the Hamachi thing. I'm not completely sure how I could show you how to do this in this tutorial since I already have one a Hamachi thing. But it's free and it's really easy. All you have to do is download it and then go through all of the processes. Making an account, making a little IP address server thing within the account thing. So when all that stuff is done, you, um, no, I don't want to update now. So when all that stuff is done, you have your server happening, you got your Hamachi, you have the server properties like however I said or however you want them. You own a multiplayer. This is a format that works pretty well. They changed the format of the multiplayer server to look like this. I don't think it has to look like this, but so so your um your IP address goes in the brackets. And then there's like a colon and then there's 25565. Anyway, I hope this helps you at least a little bit. I really would like to help people out. Just tell me if this helps you at all and I'll try to make more tutorials in the future. So See you guys later. Have fun doing Minecraft. I hope. Stay beautiful. <laughs>